What is happening in the world of personal finances this week? Okay, so this week we're going to cover news. What's happening with the unemployment situation? There are some developments there. And what's happening with the stimulus? There are some developments. I'm going to share with you whether they're good or not, okay? Then we're going to get into some uh, viewers' uh, questions and comments, all right? You guys had some things to say about last week's videos. And finally, I'm going to share with you, stick around at the end, I'm going to share with you two ways you can save money on your current expenses and purchases. Hey everybody, it is Jay Crater with The Ride Share Guy, drinking a vanilla sweet cream cold brew. Mm. It is Friday. Normally I record this on Saturday, but as you can see, I'm not at home. I decided to take a little, little walk about to South Lake Tahoe. I am on the 18th floor at Harvey's Casino and Resort for a few days. So tomorrow I'm not gonna be doing any work or Sunday, so I'm knocking this one out. Pretty smoky up here. Let me show you, I took a picture yesterday and it looks pretty bad. You see how the, the lake, you can't even tell it's a lake. It's just kind of white and the trees, everything's sort of grayed out. Here's a picture of what it normally looks like from here, yeah? Nice blue, beautiful lake, really green trees. See the mountains in the background? There you, with the other one, you can't even see the mountains. But I'll tell you one of the best things that happened to me yesterday, I love salads, salads with a little bit of meat in them. And uh, I went to this uh, restaurant and I ordered a salad that had a pear, um, pear, like marinated pears, and uh, wild greens and some blue cheese, a nice dressing, candied walnuts. Mm. And then I, I, I paid extra to get the salmon on top. And I paid $8 extra for the salmon. And I thought, I'm going to get a few little pieces of salmon. Let me show you what came to me. Holy mackerel. That is a piece of salmon. It was so delicious. It was beautifully charred on the under, underside. And you can see those... Uh, pears, those marinated pears, you can see the blue cheese and the walnuts and the, oh my God, it was so awesome. Okay, number one, financial news. All right, so what you're seeing here is a map that shows you what's going on with all the states that are trying to get the lost wages, okay, lost wages assistance, LWA. Now, since this map was made, Nebraska <clears throat> has also gotten uh, on, on it. So there's only one state that hasn't uh, and isn't going to get the lost wages assistance and that is South Dakota. Okay, here's the news though. Um, here's what's interesting. Regardless of where the states and territories are in the process to receive and distribute the FEMA funding, FEMA will fund six weeks, six weeks, not three, but six weeks in $300 supplemental unemployment benefits to every state and territory that is applied. FEMA said that to date it has distributed 30 billion out of the 44 billion. So you see, there's a limit to how long these benefits can go, and apparently that limit uh, is not three weeks, not five weeks, as it was announced in California, but now it's everywhere six weeks. So that's good news. So what's going on with the stimulus? Six weeks, we've already, it's already been six weeks since the $600 expired. That means from this point going forward, there's nothing, there's nothing. Well. Here we see um, from Bloomberg, U.S. fiscal stimulus chances fade with Republican bill blocked, all right? So the Republicans put out a bill for like $350 billion, right? Really small. Uh, vulnerable Dems anxious over stalled COVID talks, right? So this is getting really political because uh, people are hurting. Right? There's 30 million people who are getting these unemployment benefits. That's a lot of voters, and everybody wants to be the hero, right? But the Democrats, uh, if, if the Republicans don't come to the table, um, nothing's going to happen, and vice versa. And the White House doesn't seem to be helping at all, right? We don't have a president that says, Democrats, Republicans, come on, let's get together, and let's, let's do this, which I think would make him the big hero, and it would give us a much better kind of a package deal, right? But uh, that's not happening. Number two, questions, comments from viewers. So the first uh, uh, video was this one about um, 
Last, last week's uh, personal finance video, the weekly $600 of federal unemployment benefits may not be coming. Okay, that's what we covered last week. So, uh, I love your videos. This is from M Maricela48. Uh, yeah, you know, I know after I did it, I realized it was Lodi. I'm a big Credence Clearwater <laughs> Revival fan, and uh, I love that song. Uh, so yeah, and I've, I've worked in Lodi selling advertising on shopping carts. I just didn't read it well um, Thanks, Joseph uh, Someone said awesome shirt. Thank you uh, You have to wear a mask. It's required. Yes looking for some feedback on Potter handy lawsuit. So um, It just takes time um, So if you if you sign up with them, it just takes time because uber and lyft are both gonna drag their feet, right? I'm in the process where we're trying to find uh, an arbitrator that we both sides agree on, and then things will move faster once that happens. All the paperwork has been submitted um, on my behalf, and my process started last December. So um, that's the update on the Potter Handy um, situation. So you just have to be patient. Okay, let's look at some more comments. Raj Gupta. Raj Gupta questions my uh, patriotism because I hired a virtual assistant from India. So Raj Gupta, um, you know, I, I used a, a service called Upwork and I put out a bid and no Americans applied. Nobody wanted to work uh, for under $10 uh, an hour. You say, what's wrong with a U.S. assistant who pays U.S. taxes to fund the federal government that pays your pandemic unemployment assistance? Uh, What's wrong with it? Nobody wants the job, and I've paid my taxes, so I feel just fine about the money I put into the pandemic unemployment assistance. How un-American of me. You know, Raj, I think if, uh, if an American wanted the job and they were willing to uh, work hard for it, um, I would certainly feel comfortable hiring an American, but nobody wanted the job. Um, yes, I'm 22, it's a gig job to do what you want to, with the work. F the unions. All right, so I'm, I'm making a video uh, about my position on Prop 22, so look for that. I'm gonna tell you whether I'm for it or against it and how I'm gonna vote, because I have to make a choice. I have to vote because I live in California. In Missouri, qual qualified uh, filers have already received all five weeks and back pay. Yes, so some states, um, some states are paying a, a lump sum, and some states are paying it uh, piecemeal and I'm making a video about that also about the entire um, lost wages assistance situation because there have been a lot of developments lately um, I got paid $300 and I'm like well, where's the rest and I explained in that video where is the rest but it's all coming and uh, congratulations uh, in Missouri for you getting all your money in one lump sum okay number three two ways you can save some money so the first one is called Truebill Okay, and a link for Truebill is underneath this video. You can easily cancel unwanted subscriptions. So you create an account and you link it to your, your bank account or your credit cards and it goes through and it'll point out where there are duplications and it makes it really easy for you to cancel the subscriptions. This has happened to me a lot and this is why I like this, 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 uh, this app is because when I look at my credit card bill every two or three months, I, I see things that I thought I canceled and I'm still paying $25 for it a month, right? Um, there's something called Zendesk. And I was like, oh my God, I'm still paying for that. I haven't used it in like six months. It's $150, uh, $25 a month times six, six months. It's like, ah, and then they don't make it easy to, to cancel. you like, you gotta call in sometimes. And anyway, this, this, this app takes care of all of that and makes it super simple for you to see your subscriptions and then cancel them. So I like that very much. The second one is called Ibotta, like I bought, a, I bought a pair of headphones or I bought some glasses or I bought whatever. And um, it's an opportunity for you to make purchases and get some cash back, okay? So uh, they give you a list of all the different vendors they work with. As you can see here, you could buy uh, uh, headphones at Target and save $10. Uh, you see up there, it says, uh, I earned over $200 this year and used it to take my kids on a road trip to the Oregon coast, so fun, says Jennifer. So check it out, the link for that and the uh, true, true bill is also um, just down below. 
Yeah, true bill. And um, check them out. Save some money. Why not? Why not save some money? Okay, awesome. Key takeaways. It is smoky AF in California and Oregon and Washington. And I'm just looking out the window and I can really, really see it. So that's one key takeaway. The world is going through something, man. We got a, what do we got? Let's just take some stock here. We got a pandemic, okay? We got a government that doesn't really seem to be taking that as seriously as other governments. I think we can all agree that other governments have taken it far more seriously and have done a better job. We've got riots all over the country, right? We got this uh, civil unrest. Um, uh, we got 30 million people getting unemployment benefits. The economy is just slowly, you know, it's not tanking, but it's just sort of flatlining. Uh, and it's not gonna get better if we don't get any more money uh, to those 30 million people who take that money and they spend it into the economy. That's happening. And now on the West Coast, we're on fire. Everything's on fire. People are being evacuated, people are getting killed, and um, here we are. So all we can do is look at it with clear eyes and make decisions with our best interests at heart and try not to hurt other people in the process. Yeah. All right, everybody, that's it for this week. This is Jay Crater. Thank you for watching. If you like this, give it a thumbs up. That'll help more people to see it. And uh, if you haven't subscribed yet to our YouTube channel, subscribe. Set yourself up for notifications and you'll know about the next YouTube Live. We did one earlier this week with Harry. Y'all go out and have a great day. Be safe out there. Wear a mask. Wear a mask.